Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, this is Joshua Reed with Reed's Wellness and Fitness Training.com. Um, I've got five exercises for you to do at the gym. It's called my No Winging It Workout. Get in, get out, and get it done. Uh, we've got the Goblet Squad. We're going into incline chest press uh, with dumbbells. We're going into bent over row with dumbbells. Going into dumbbell reverse lunges and we're finishing off with a dead bug with tension. Uh, that does not require any equipment you can do on the floor. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do is we're going to grab two dumbbells. You're going to find a weight that's going to be adequate enough for you uh, to perform that 8 to 10 rep repetition range. Um, if you can perform around 15 reps, then you want to grab uh, a heavier weight. If you can probably perform some around 5 to 6 reps, you want to grab a lighter weight so that no matter what, you're in that range of 8 to 10 repetitions. The first exercise is the dumbbell goblet squat. The dumbbell goblet squat is great for anybody who's a beginner, but also for anybody who is also advanced. To initialize the dumbbell goblet squat, you're going to hold the dumbbell in this position with the dumbbell hanging in a vertical manner. You're going to drive down, press through your heels, and stand up. Again, from a side view, When you perform the dumbbell incline chest press, what you're going to do is grab two dumbbells, bring them to your thigh, lean back into the bench, drive your feet into the ground. A lot of people want to kind of dance around a little bit. Really try to focus on keeping those feet flat on the floor. Um, from that position, we're going to drive the dumbbells up. That's going to be our starting position. We're then going to lower the dumbbells down in a slow, controlled manner, press right back up. And that'll be our first repetition. Again, we're going to perform eight to ten repetitions. Again, I'm going to bring my dumbbells up to my thigh. I'm going to lean back into the bench, keeping my feet flat to the floor. Um, pressing straight up. My starting point, I'm then going to lower down in a slow and controlled manner. Driving right back up. And back down. Again, eight to ten repetitions. Our next exercise will be the dumbbell bent over row. Arms are slightly forward, and I'm going to row, pull back, almost as if my fists would end up in my belly button, and return. I'm not, I'm not rowing up to my chest, but again, I'm going to my belly button. Hands are going in the pocket. So again, here, return. And again, I'll perform 8 to 10 repetitions. The next exercise will be a dumbbell reverse lunge. For the dumbbell reverse lunge, we'll do 8 to 10 repetitions on both sides. For this motion, I'll be standing, and then I'm going to take my right foot back, slightly lean forward from the hip with the back flat. The next exercise will be the dead bug with tension. To perform this, we do not need any equipment. We can lie down on the ground on your back. Uh, this is a great one again from, for anybody who's a beginner or somebody who's more advanced. Uh, feet are going to come off the floor, knees at 90 degrees. My hands are going to be placed against my thigh, my quadriceps here. Uh, with knee driving into the hand and hands driving into the knees. So here. From that position, I'll then work on my left side first. I'll do eight to 10 repetitions on this side, and then I'll rotate into the right side. So from here, I'm gonna drive my left arm all the way back. For my preference, I like to do the thumb toward the ground and driving the heel to the ground as well, returning it back to the 90 degree position. Again, I'll drive my hand and my thigh, maintaining tension on my right side while I move my left arm, left uh, leg all the way out and back. Again, eight to 10 reps. My abdomen is braced. And then return. I'll finish the eight to 10 repetitions on this side, and then I'll rotate and do the opposing side. Essentially, that is your five exercises. You have a couple options which you can do here. A, you can go through and you can do all five exercises as a circuit. Then eight to 10 repetitions. You can go anywhere from three sets to five sets, depending on your um, ability, your fitness level. But no matter what, make sure you have a heavy enough weight to get you to that eight to 10 rep repetition range. 
After each set for the circuit, uh, you take about a minute break and then return back into um, your set. The second option is to perform it as sets. In this regard, you would do uh, each exercise for three to five sets with heavy enough weight for that eight to 10 repetition range. Um, after you finish your goblet squat with the dumbbell, um, taking a, about 45 seconds in between uh, for the goblet squat, performing that three to five sets, moving into the next one being the dumbbell incline chest press, same thing. You'll get your three to five sets in, uh, take the rest as need, and then you'll go into your bender over rows, same thing, take your break, move all through all three to five sets, reverse lunges, and then your dead bugs. You will be more fatigued with that setup, and the reason for that is because you're working the muscle group back to back to back to back. Uh, whereas with the um, circuit style, you're able to give that particular muscle group a break. So it's able to recover a little bit faster. Either way, give one of those a try. Um, what else? All right, guys, that's it. Uh, good luck with your workout. Have fun. Stay, yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, that. Um, that's it. All right. Enjoy your workout.